Hi, so this is Eric Scheip with Bath Plus Kitchen, and I'm gonna do a quick overview of framed versus frameless cabinetry. Uh, hopefully this video helps you decide on what type of cabinet is right for your space and your budget. Um, framed cabinetry on the right here, you've got an inch and a half face frame attached to the front of the cabinet all the way around the box. So this, the rail, the, the styles, and the rail down here, you've got an inch and a half. With frameless cabinetry, you have you do not have a face frame. So it's three quarters, three quarters, three quarters, three quarters. So you're gaining, it nets out to gaining an inch and a half of width and an inch and a half of height. Uh, you'll notice that if we, if I come over to the side here, this drawer box is sitting up higher. They're both about four inches high, but this one's sitting up higher. So that means that your door will start at a higher point. You'll have more storage here and less storage here. And the face frame down here, my finger is at three quarters up. So this, this bottom is three quarters inches higher than this bottom on the left here. I don't know, it's probably hard to tell that in the video, but uh, it's, it's higher, uh, higher up on this side, the bottom is, so you have more storage space this way. Where it really matters is your interior drawer space. So if we pull these both out, you can see these are both 12 inch wide cabinets. Um, and this is 12. But the interior of this one is eight and seven eighths versus the interior of this one is seven and three eighths. So, if my math is correct, I mean, you have to be good at math just to know that it's an inch and a half difference. You're getting an inch and a half width. Um, so just think about how much more storage space you're getting with a frameless cabinet versus a framed. Um, and that's in the drawer box. And then it's also, you know, if you have a cabinet like, like this one where it's three drawers, each one of those drawers is gonna be, you're gonna have an inch and a half more width and an inch and a half more height. So it really adds up over the course of a whole kitchen and depending on the size of your kitchen, you could be talking anywhere from eight to 10, maybe 15% more storage space with a frameless kitchen versus a framed 